What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. We love raising canes. Love. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what Mother Nature has in store for her Arctic blast. Winter canes always has the piping hot chicken vinegar combos. You need to stay warm. While you're at it, bundle up with buttery Texas toast, crispy crinkle cut fries, and of course, extra cane sauce. Uh, now, if you're needing some cold weather gear to help keep warm and stylish, Raisin Canes has great line of sweaters, hats, even socks. There's even merch for your furry friends. Check out RaisinCanesGear.com to get warm today. Satisfy your canes fix. There really is no other option. Okay. Okay. Leading. What? I said, okay. Yeah. Leading okay. the headlines for the million straight week, it appears. Ugh. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Um, they're going to the Super Bowl. Taylor will be able to make it. She's in like Tokyo the day before. I'm sure she's going to be there. Uh, all the celebrating. Andy Reid, Taylor pointing at each other. I don't know what more we can say about it. Not a lot. Not a it's lot. the same thing every single week. There's all the conspiracies going on right now with the whole number 13 in the Super Bowl. Have you seen yeah. that? Yeah, I don't buy into any of the conspiracy theories at all. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, I don't think I'm going to meet her. for the NFL. Oh, why? Uh, we got in a little bit of... I'm getting fights with everybody. What? I, I'm what not happened? Like, Dave, you were so close. This close, brother. What did you do? She accused me of outing her. I told you. Podcast. I told no, you. No, you're the one who was trying to get me to out her. I didn't what? out her. You said, should I out her? I said, Dave, let's play it I back. I said, do not she out her. Like, she didn't I'm, like I'm it. on Breeze side for this one. I'm on Breeze Thank side you. for this one. You're actually. the one. Somebody was telling me to out her. You were the one I saying, should out her? You, you I so out volunteered you. the outing. <laughs> I didn't out anybody. She got mad because I read a direct like message between us, on, I think, on this very program. But it was like a joke. <laughs> it was like when Jason Kelsey had the kid... And supposedly brought the little kid in to meet Taylor. And I was like, oh, the, the kid can meet her, but I can't. I think I read that. And she's yeah, I like, think you did. She's like, you're out. I can't trust you, basically. Oh, and I was wow. like, oh, what? like, if you can't trust me, then I can't be in. I'm a trustworthy guy. But I get in fights with people. I got in a fight with uh, Sabalenka, the tennis player, who was like best friend. Everyone's like, why didn't you talk about the Australian Open? Because I got in fr a fight with her and unfollowed her. Dang, man. Damn. Damn. A lot of People fights, don't even man. know that. Sabalinka. She was dicking me around. I don't like getting dicked around. We're supposed to do a pizza review together in Miami. She kept we being like, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We talked She's about in this. Miami. At least, we talked about this at least twice. Though. We did? I think so. Dude. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> we totally did. I think. Was I could tell the you the story. She you, did a pizza you, review you, with David Grutman, right? Instead right. of you. You briefly Fuck. mentioned it once, but then you talked about it, but it was before the podcast yes, last week. Oh, it wasn't I thought it was on in the, the podcast. podcast. Yeah. I thought air. it was in the pod. Yeah, That's on me. That's on me. How yeah. am I supposed to know when we're off air and on air? I come on I know, and I assume I knew we're on we did. air. Long story short, we're supposed to do a pizza review, pizza review. We're going back and forth. I'm our number one supporter. Sabalink invited me to sit in her booth at the U.S. Open. She's in Miami. Her team's like, Miami, Miami, pizza review. She's like, all right, we'll meet at this party first. We met, said, hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, when are we going to do pizza, pizza, pizza? She posts a picture of herself eating pizza with Grutman, who's my friend at Miami Slice. I'm like, fuck that. You're out. I said I'm rooting for Coco Guff from now on. She beat her. But everyone's like, why don't you have your girl sub -link? Listen, don't dick me around. I'm not I'm not a dick around guy. You dick me around, you're out. Yeah, you know, yeah. Don't put any dicks around. around Dave. Don't put any dicks around him. No, don't dick me around. Zero don't be dicks. like, pizza, pizza, pizza. All right, all right. And then you show up in a pizza post. I'm like, you're out. Yeah. Um, Get them fair. So anyways, out I'm out with my source, I think. Fuck. Like, yeah. actually, she doesn't like you anymore? Yeah, I don't think she likes me anymore. Oh, she Dave, just says she doesn't trust me. Did you not see that the viewership Taylor brought to the NFL is like 330 million plus or something like that? I don't know what it is. We, think about what that could have done for the podcast, man. You just blew that away for us. You just blew it away for it's all because of us. because you guys are always like, who's your source? Who's your source? I've never said that once in my life. To give me your source. Who fucking cares, by the way, the source? I'm a Taylor Swift defender. I'm not going to embarrass. I'm not going to say something bad. Nobody has her back more than me. I I agree that That's you have true. her back. And, and by the way, it's like I'm common sense. It's like when that. What it's like I didn't. Is that really like exposing her by that one text exchange? It was funny. It's funny. I don't think so. I think she was already from what I've seen on social media. It seems like people already have their guesses of who she is anyways. Yeah, everyone did figure it out. I saw it last week, but not from our pod. They just figured it out anyways. 
Oh, she's not my source anymore. She dropped me like a bad habit. Fuck, she unfollow you? That means she's to- she done dicking around with you. If she you, it's done. Yeah. She's not giving you any more dicks. Yeah. No, she's still yeah. follow. Uh, uh, how do you see if someone's following? Go to your f- followers and type her name in. Yeah, it comes up. This she, is the she didn't unfollow. clip from last week. It's crap. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be out of the show now. We started with the worst fuck. I mean, no, be, no, her. no. Hey, hey, it's okay. And Next year. Should we just, I, should I just out my source? No. Uh, no, be, no, no. I don't care. Not anymore. until you meet her, Dave. So Super Bowl. There you go. You self-volunteered the outing. <laughs> you said, should I out my source? <laughs> yeah, should, should I just yeah, I'm not a bad way. I don't know what to, what am I? Like, uh, you can't say you're friends with me. It's crazy. She did. She's still following me. All right, maybe you can work but it back. I, okay, so maybe you can work just, it back. She just doesn't like me. I'm a vault. I would never give away good information. So are you apologizing to her? Is this an apology or is this mm. just... No, uh, I was like, why? You don't oh, trust okay. me? All right, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you can trust Dave. Take him back. Yeah, I think you can trust too. He's the biggest. He didn't out his Swifter. source. He didn't out it. He didn't say anything. And I've never said anything that's like valuable. I, come on, um, no values. Twitter blocks Taylor t- Taylor Swift from being searched because of those disgusting AIs. Good. Yeah. I didn't uh, see I, them, but I, I did didn't they either. get taken down from the internet completely? I, I would Why, never. You want to go? You want to go search? No, for no, no. I'm just saying. Like, did Pervert. she win? Like, did Free, she get them weird, taken dude. down? Like, do those? exist forever or are they gone dave that's only a question gone. someone asks if they're gonna go look for it i am right? not gonna go look Listen, at them. i, I am disturbing. aware i know bit. that's why we're kind of grossed out me and dave here together right now yeah. grossed out about but you. i'm wondering if she has them. like the power to completely yes. wipe them yeah i think she does of course yeah she's taylor swift dog yeah jack antonoff calls kanye a little cry baby bitch he is he's the worst and obviously antonoff is a big taylor guy um, Jacking off is the craziest name of all time. Are we going to skip over that? J- Jack Anton off. Jack yeah, off. It's crazy. That is Jacking nuts. off. Jacking off. Yeah. That is Yo, what's up, Jacking off? Yeah. That's, that's an awesome that's name. Like Mike the parents are crazy. The parents had to know what they were doing. Mm. What did you say, Bree? That's like Mike Hunt. If your name is Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. Uh, <laughs> Peaky Blinders actor. Arrested for cocaine says it's because fans keep wanting to do it with him. I can totally believe that. He's recognized for a guy who does a ton of coke in Peaky Blinders. I could totally see. Like, I, I'm people never believe I'm not a coke guy. I hate coke. If I saw this guy out that and was like, liked him that much, I'd be like, let's do coke. That is what you do with this guy. Did he do a bunch of cocaine in the show? Tons. Okay. But, but, so that means he carries like it on him addict. now because people want to do it with well, him? No, it, well, no. What if fans have it? I oh, think it was the fans it. had it. And yeah, they you know, were his like, excuse you want to do was it? Like, the reason he has it on him is in case fans want to come up and do it with him. <laughs> totally fair. Totally fair. What a good guy, man. Just taking care hey, of his fans. Committed to the character, committed to the role, committed to his fans. That's what I like. That's Carries what I like. the cocaine for the fans. What a Doom good guy. Dune 2 popcorn buckets go viral. Ahead of Dune 2's release this March, the promotional popcorn bucket was released and has gone viral after the internet suggested people are going to use the bucket as a fleshlight. It does look like a <laughs> fleshlight. Yeah, it's giving pocket I mean, pee for sure. Yeah, but not very like, not a very flattering fleshlight. It kind of looks like... A little more. Have you ever used... I've never like used teeth. a fleshlight. Uh, no, I, yeah, I can't me say Yeah, me neither. Have. You have... I take it by Josh's silence. He definitely has. <laughs> what? I said I had it. I thought you said you have. I didn't hear oh, it. I said, nah, that's not for me. I <laughs> do say I'm dying to see Dune 2. I love Dune 1. I thought oh, it was so yeah, good. That's... Yeah, I'm ready for Dune 2. Let's Speaking of it. TV oh, recommendation, I watched Grisilla last night. Oh, it's so fucking good. Grisilla? What did you What's watch? that? Oh, it's... um. What's her name? Sophia uh, Vergara. So, Sophia Vergara is like a uh, Colombian drug lord who moves from Colombia to Miami and is like the yeah. lead of a uh, Miami cartel. It's I've only seen the first two episodes. I had to force myself to go to bed. It was time to go sleep. They're so good. I'm instantly hooked. Ooh, it's so I, I love those. That's when you know it's good TV when it keeps you up past your bedtime. Yeah, mm-hmm. Netflix. It's so fucking good. All right. I saw her talking about this, saying she had to learn how to do coke and everything. Yeah, uh, yeah mm-hmm. maybe. I don't. That's How do you surprising. learn? It no, she uh, she talked about it on a tonight. She show. never she done said, coke. Like, I had to learn. No, I guess she's not a coke girl. Nah, everyone's done coke. 
Is this the one where oh, she has oh, like prosthetic okay. makeup on and looks different? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's great. About that. She looks uglier, but it's great. Yeah, it's on the sheet. Um, oh, it is? Yeah. All right. Because well, the we'll sun's mad about it. The who is mad about it? Uh, the sun. It's the sun of Sofia Vergara? Ugly? No, of the person she's portraying. Uh, Grisalda. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll I will get to it. All right, guys, quick commercial break. It's golf. It's not golf. It's top golf. If you've ever heard of them, you have all the stuff to make them legit golf, like balls, clubs, turf, and even a ball picker up or cart thing. But they're not very much not golf, too. We're talking loud music, giant targets, heated bays, and an unbeatable food and drinks day or night. I used to spend almost every weekend at Top Golf in college in Ohio. It was my favorite time ever. We would get drunk. We'd play golf. It was so fun. We would stay there for hours. So since they want everyone to play, they just launched half off golf Monday through Wednesday when you book in their app. All you have to do is book a Monday. Monday through Wednesday in their app and you'll get half off the golf which is awesome so of course even they have some rules half off golf Monday through Wednesday applies to gameplay only it isn't offered at every venue it's only available when you book in their app so make sure to check it out for full details and to book a bay download top golf app or visit topgolf.com forward slash bffs that's topgolf.com forward slash bffs make sure to check it out top golf uh Margot Robbie Greta Gerwig snub for Barbie I haven't seen it so I can't say I don't know if Margot Rob Robbie was snubbed. I don't know if it was an Oscar-worthy performance. I think America Ferrara deserves an Oscar nomination. I don't know if Ken deserves an Oscar nomination, but maybe well, Greg Ken Gerwig. got one. I know. I think that's the issue. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't think like Margot Robbie was great, but I don't know if it was like Oscar-worthy performance type of great. Do you think I'd like that movie? Yes, I do. You like like okay. heartfelt things that make you feel good, right? Yeah, I like feeling good. Yeah, I think it, I think you would like okay. it. Okay, you you I'll leave with a, a smile think, on your face. <clears throat> good. I, I like think smiles. the whole drama, the drama around the Barbie thing is like the whole point of the movie was about, you know, like women empowerment. empowerment. And then yeah. Yeah, fucking Ken yeah, yeah, got yeah. the and nomination. Then like, and then he, Ken gets the nomination, which is like, yeah, the irony uh, is crazy. Kind of missing, I guess, yeah, irony missing the point of the whole but film. But America um, Ferrara did get a nomination and she was like yeah. the best part of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's be for real. Killian Murphy's got to win and Oppenheimer's got to win. So I, I didn't love Oppenheimer. I just recently watched it for the first time. I thought it was fucking awesome. So good. But I feel like Too that's long. not your type of movie, Dave. Yeah. Uh, Jessica Biel eats in the shower. I love Jessica Biel. I I know I always get say, oh, Dave, you say this woman's top 10. Top 10 all time. Most gorgeous women who ever lived. Probably top five, maybe top three. Off the top, her and like Candace Swain. Paul, what, Josh? It's just that you can't say top five and then list 20 people. 20 people can't go in a top five. You get say it. I just say the same people over and over. Who have I said no. top two? But side, who if have we I put said a little thing together, it's going to gonna be more than five. You say top who one about said, everyone. It, no, one. I say Candace Swain. Man, I don't remember the names of these models from the like seventies. <laughs> I was born in seventy seven, so I don't think they're models from the seventies. Candace Swain, Paul one, Beale two. Put it in stone. All right, it's in All stone. Right, you can't go back put it on it in now. Stone. You okay. can't go back. This is locked in forever. It's like it's kind of like a, you're looked at as like a professional raider. Think about how you like go about. The I don't pizza. think you I can't think rate too confusing. high. I think I saw a new Candace Swain poll picks, and I, I hearted them. You hearted and them, and I don't heart. I don't heart nothing on Instagram. Wow! So they were mind blowing. They were beautiful. Yeah, she was like back throwing a hundred miles per hour. She was throwing her back. It was yeah. gas. She looked fucking hot. Get, wait, wait. Can up, we see the pictures? The new, yeah, she was like twerking. Pull up the new Candace. What? She was driving. No, she's cycle? throwing no, her back. Picture. What are you guys fucking talking about? <laughs> you said she's back throwing. Oh, I thought you said gas. she's going 100 miles per hour. <laughs> like throwing heat. Okay, she's pitching. All right, she's back. Oh, these. Oh, ones. yeah. Wow. Woo! Stunning. She's my girl. She doesn't age. No, I know it's crazy. She's gorgeous. Haley Bieber's How in the likes. I see you, Haley. How old is she? Is it old. Comments? Like by stool president day. Oh, yeah, like by stool president day. I told you I threw a wow. fucking like. He did, he did throw, throw a like. That's that's a like worthy picture though. I want to. I yeah. think I'm gonna go like that. I don't I know like how old she is. I didn't know she could still so. fucking play ball like that. She's, um, yeah, she's insane she's looking. Can. Wow. I wonder what her parents look like. How old is she? Oh, she's only like, 35. She's not old. Well, it's not your prime for like women looks. I'm not like being are, insulting. I feel like women feel are like, still hot in their 30s. Oh, 100%. 100%. No, I'm not. Nice save. But she's nice had save. children. Nice save. 
No, I well, it's like an athlete. Like mid twenties is probably everybody's say, prime. Correct. Exactly. Correct. That's all yes. I correct. correct. Yeah, um, everybody's not just women. Jessica Beale loves to eat in the shower. So I let's see her this start of this rant. Jessica's getting up there in age too. At my age. I mean, these are my generation. I think maybe some of you know this about me, but I love to eat in the shower. Shower appropriate items like cereal or yogurt, coffee, tea, popsicles. I know, melt factor, but safe, you know? Down the drain, anything drops, you're good. I don't think I want to eat in the shower. Do you guys want no, to eat in the shower? No. No, That's I crazy. mean a shower beer might be a top. That's a top the best. Five beer. Yeah. A top five beer could be a shower beer. Yeah. You can put it in that list. But that's um, not food. That's not food. It's fuel. That's not food. Yeah, you're right. That is fuel. It's different. Cereal seems like not shower safe to me. No. Ew, who you wants get, water? You get it all in their watered milks. down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, watered down milk. It's like your milk was two percent. Now it goes to one percent. Maybe a popsicle on a hot summer day. I could get behind. I I kind of could get behind the popsicle. Because it's messy could. anyway, so you kind of want to wash yeah. it off while you're eating it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Cool. Sometimes, what? though, like, when I'm sick, I have a hard time breathing in the shower sometimes. That would seem okay. like... You'll choke and die. Yeah, eating while, like, water coming down, it could get complicated. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What's that have to do with being sick? My nose is stuffed up. So you wouldn't do it while you were sick. In, yeah, it's like when, when your nose and you put your mouth under the water, it's like you can't breathe. Well, you probably wouldn't Dang. put your mouth under the water and eat at the same time. No. Is it like the scariest moment of your guys' lives when you like shampoo and then you have to keep your eyes closed while you're shampooing and you think like maybe someone's going to appear in the shower when you open your eyes again or not? I've never it's had just, that. I no. just got over that fear and it feels great. I hope you can get That's there. Sometimes crazy. I think there's just going to be like a witch or this like a ghost. Someone in a scream in mask. Shower. This Just like ready to ready to jump at me, ready when to kill me. You do a podcast with children. Mm. I just got over my fear, so Josh, I mean, you're you not got a couple years. Do you worry you're about not. monsters under your bed, Josh? No, no monsters in the closet. Sleep with the lights on. No, mommy, that, that's mommy, silly. There's, there's monsters. That's silly, in the Dave. Closet. Yeah, that's but, ridiculous. But shampoo. <laughs> you close your eyes I'm, in the shower. I'm you think you're about to get mugged in the shower. Yeah, what if someone broke time. into my house? Hmm. And my yeah. eyes are covered with soap. I can't see. Do you understand how scary that is? Not being able to see? Goggles. It's like going blind Can for a goggles. short Crazy. period of time. Chrissy Brinkley is opening and finding love. Chrissy Brinkley was turning 70 this week. Says she's opening and finding love, but there just doesn't seem any out there. Would Dave shoot his shot? Do you she's think I'd have 70? a shot she's at Chrissy sexy. Brinkley? That's Dang, a real man. question. Who is Chrissy Brinkley? Oh. Where does she rank all time? Three. Okay. <laughs> is that in stone? Are we keeping it in stone? Yep, that's in three. <laughs> okay. Stone. All right. Dude, this is crazy. I want to see a just montage of all the top. We 3G. need this. We need the stone. Well, I mean, I've said that. They're putting like the the. Well, yeah, that like, was on purpose. When you were talking row. about. Yeah, you were talking about like in stone, in stone. I was like the next subject. Christian She's Green. seventy in this photo. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a, that's that is a. That's incredible an angel. job. Incredible yeah, job. she's. I've never seen any seven-year-old man or woman look that good. Third most oh. beautiful woman of all time. On stone, yeah. I think yeah. I'd have a shot. I think. Okay, in her prime or right now because she's seventy. No, I would never have a shot at prime. Okay. No, no chance, brother. None, zero. Dude, but DM, right DM now, her. DM her. Hit her with a little. Hit her with a little. Or hit her with the good. love, the like, the hearts. Nah, I definitely hit her with a DM. Looking for love. Yeah, looking for love, so am I. Ooh, get right into it. <laughs> you might swing this, D. Wow. This is, I have faith. I do too. Look at us. We're kind of controlling the DMs from afar. We yeah. have a lot of mutuals, 26 mutuals. Ooh, Dang. that's good. Was she a supermodel or an actress? Under Understatement. Okay, she was a what? The supermodel. Okay, she was the supermodel. She, she was married to Billy Joel. Oh, still no. Uh, obviously not. She's looking for love. Yeah, they got divorced along as Uptown Girl. You've, You've been, been living Uptown where it's after her. Ah, you know what? She is. She has a great head of hair. I mean, yep. she was in like Caddyshack. That's where I seen that. I okay, mean, look okay, at that. Okay, All right, okay, go back okay. to that first. one. Yeah, wow. Stunning. Look at that hair. Come on. Her hair has volume. Yeah, I have a good head of hair. Sticking with three. Sticking with three. Yeah, well, I'm sticking with three. All right, sit still. 
Is that in stock? I gotta really think whether I want to. She has a million followers. Dude, you can get a DM. Dude, you guys would be a power Just DM couple. her, dude. Well, so what should I say? Um, be like, hey, I heard you were looking for love. That's so corny. You'd never so get corny. It. You, you, you'd so never corny. survive as a guy, Bree. No, Bree, you wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> You're uh. looking for love. Like, <laughs> like, okay, what do you okay? Yo, then you let's workshop. Like, We're workshopping. Okay, we? okay, I, okay. I rated okay, okay. you three, the third hottest woman of all time. Is that insulting or a compliment? <laughs> yeah, no, Super that's not insulting. good. That's not good yeah. either. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe like, maybe. I feel like I thought you were in your prime. In I your don't 20s, think she now needs you're in cheese your prime. because ah. I was supposed to do a pizza review with her way back in the day, like an SI okay. swimsuit, and I don't think she ate cheese. It's kind of a deal breaker. Oh, but you could say you're the only woman I'm I'm willing to eat a vegetarian pizza, piece for, of pizza but for. But she doesn't yeah. know who I am, so she'd be like, "What the fuck does that mean?" Oh, then you could send her right. a link to your videos. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe check out my channel. Subscribe. <laughs> Maybe you send her the dog emoji, or send her a selfie. <laughs> send her a dog emoji. What do you and think? Die DMs like, are what? And then when she's like, "What?" After you send her, no, I don't want to. Thank you so much. I don't. I don't want to. I dog her. ran this would into just your be DMs. A publicity stunt. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Because right. it would just be. I don't want to date her. I. I. I don't. You don't so. want to date. You just want to. Okay, you just want to kill. I, her. I, it was like content and like uh, ego. Like, oh, I'm gonna date with Chrissy Brinkley. No, that's wrong. Okay. Um, that is wrong. That is wrong. Respect. Respect. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. trying to reverse psychology. Get her right now. This yeah. is his little. Yeah. No. 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 It is. Julia Ernst made Reddit posts about her alleged ex boyfriend Vinny Hector. Oh, Vinny. yeah. Uh, Julia Ernst was caught posting her own snark Reddit page anonymously after she screenshotted her own post talking about how she had a traumatic past few days, may have brain cancer. Other oh, Redditors wow. caught. Yeah. Other. <laughs> what do you mean you may have? That's not funny. But like, what That's do you mean you may have? That's pretty bad. Yeah. Thing. Don't, don't laugh Other Redditors caught Julia that. because she forgot to crop her own pro profile picture out of the bottom corner. Julia posted on a Reddit snark page saying Vinny may finally post about her to make people feel bad for him. After people spotted Julia posting her own page, they looked back at older Reddit posts from her user and found Julia had a long history of posting about her and her ex Vinny on Reddit. Julia posted about her being over-sexualized, called Vinny out for having a hinged profile with her and allegedly involved in leaking his own nudes. Julia Ernst claimed she was hacked by someone in Romania. <laughs> Blame it on Romania. But damn Redders, Romanians. Yeah, Fucking Romania. The, the <laughs> timing hackers. of the hack doesn't match the timeline of events. Vinny Hacker knows the situation on the stream where he said he was aware of it. He's okay. doesn't want to talk about it. So Julia Ernst sounds like a, a little bit of a loose cannon. Yeah. It does sound like a little bit of a loose cannon. Uh, I well, no Vinny Hacker sounds is. like a little bit of a bad boyfriend. He was yeah. on Hinge while he had a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leaking your yeah. own nudes? Yeah, man. Leaking your own nudes? Is, what's with all these weird nude stories we're getting recently? Yeah, why do you Face want to leak your own nudes? Face-tuning nudes. Leaking your own nudes. You That's think you have a big ever. dick? Uh, I yeah, guess. you're like let let the world know. Let but the then, but know. then just start firing them around. They'll get they'll get leaked. They'll get leaked. On honestly, their own. yeah, yeah. yeah. You want did we honestly. ask? Maybe that's why I had a hinge. Did, speaking of leaks, did we? I know we tried to get. I called Tana. She didn't answer me. So then I texted her, and I was like, "I'll read the message. I'll read the message." I also texted Brooke, but and she just hates us now. She didn't want to talk about Matt Rife again, which is fair. It's not about Matt Rife. I know. I know. That's what I said. I was like, it's about the the when you guys were talking shit on us. Right. Anyways, so I said, yo, do our podcast have beef now? And she said, I hate 2024 LMAO. Pod beef is hilarious. People are dying, Kim. And I said, where's Kim? Is there like a war there or something? And then she goes, you've never seen the Kim K meme? Ha 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 Where she loses her earring? And Courtney says, Kim, there are people dying. And I said, oh, no, haven't seen it. And she said, ugh, men never fail to disappoint. And then I said, weird how often that gets texted to me. But that was like early this morning, so I didn't get to. Yeah, no. To Long story, we got railroaded. We talked about it because Brooke made it seem like we attacked her, and we really did not. But whatever. She don't want to talk about it. That's fine. Um, it's government okay. trying to ban I, But Zin. we're all good. We're all good. Yeah. All right. Fine. We were good. I, th I think at, we're all at good. least we're good with Tana. Yeah, I think we're. All I'm good. not. I'm not necessarily good, but. Oh. Okay. I just. It's not her portrayal. Of events was not what happened. Um, the government is trying mm. to ban Zen. Damn. People got fucking mad about this. Wait, wait, wait. I just want to go back to this Julia Ernst thing really quick before we skip over it super fast. It seems like everyone's giving Julia Ernst a lot of shit. And this could be another, you know, classic BFFs not educated enough. I've seen a little bit of the drama going around. 
But it seems like everyone's just skipping over the brain cancer thing. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Like, how? I have a question. How much crazy do you get away with if you if you have brain cancer? But is she even being crazy? She's yeah. just posting. Yeah, I mean, she's creating she a crazy. fake. She's She made a fake Reddit page. Isn't she just telling people what Vinny Hacker did to her, but she doesn't want to do it publicly so people shit on her, but then she got caught doing it? Yeah, but if you go into your own snark page and like are posting fake and then say Romania hacked you, you're being a little crazy. I guess say Romania. Brain cancer. Yeah. Brain and cancer. there's like, and it's like months of Reddit stuff too. I think she, I saw a post about how she was even shitting on herself and her on sister, her own yeah. snark Reddit and her sister. And like, it's just what like this whole shitting on herself. That's brilliant. Yeah, to get more people to. Off the scent. Yeah, maybe off the scent or maybe to like even just keep t- people talking about her. Huh. Yeah. Do you guys Who knows? Have, but yeah. how how Did crazy you? how cra- how crazy are you allowed to act if you have again going back to the point brain cancer? Brain cancer. She said she may might have brain cancer. Right. So is this all just part of the Isn't it a definitive answer when you go to the doctor and they tell you you have brain cancer? I don't know. I, I think it's like I've never you had get it. a very alarming like yeah. you got to do emergency tests right now. She's waiting I don't for her think, results. Yeah, if there is no delay. Like, I think if you if they think you it, because that's like time is of the essence. So my guess is she doesn't have it. I, I hope can she we doesn't. Have our, no, can we have we, our researchers check if she actually has brain cancer? We don't. We definitely don't root for that under any circumstances. No, I think that's she posted terrible. saying she's fine. I oh, think. she doesn't. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. No brain cancer. Okay. You no brain win. cancer. That's a win. Just All a little. Win. But now it kind of just makes her crazy. Yeah, I mean, right? going through all this stuff. Well, maybe Vinny it's made her crazy. Because like if you not... almost had it, that's where I'm trying to find. Where's the Where's the? Line How do you of, know like, he's on sympathy? Hinge? Like, it just says Vinny Hack. Yeah, people uh, probably screenshotted profile his profile and around. sent it but, to her. Like, you'd think she'd find that out in a second. She probably yeah. did, right? And then she posted maybe. it. Like, hey, boyfriend, why are you on Hinge? Aren't we, like, dating? Yeah, that should call for a breakup right there. Yeah. You know what? It's a red not... flag, red flag. Yeah, I'm not gonna call her crazy though, cause we saw what happened last time we did that without the full story. So that's why I keep saying maybe, maybe we just, he made her crazy. Maybe he was a fucking manipulative guy. Sounds maybe like we just get bit. her on the podcast. Give I just think platform. own it. Like, no, I don't the, think there's anything nobody would say she's crazy if she's like he did all this stuff to me, and you're saying it's you talking. I would not be like, oh, she's crazy. Where you start getting a little weird is when you're using aliases and saying Romania hacked you. Yeah, now she yeah, should just yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. okay, this is everything he did to me. Uh, sorry, I was yeah. fucking scared to say it, but now I will. Yeah. yeah. Um, back to the Zen. Okay, back to Zen. Back to Zen. Do you guys Zen? Nope. Nope. I've never, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Never mind dip. Not even a little puff? Never. Have Cigars you ever I have. Never a cigarette. Hit a vapey? Yes. Ball Not a thing. fan. Not a fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Just super addicted, man. Yeah. Well, that seems like a fan. Alyssa Milano (laughs) gets roasted for posting GoFundMe for her son's baseball team because she has a net worth of $10 million. I kind of sometimes, like, should she have to pay for everything for her kid for the rest of her, like, every team thing? It's like always Alyssa Milano? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, just because you have money doesn't mean you need to spend. Spend all of it, right? And, and at some point, maybe you feel like you're getting used. If like everything, they come to you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You shouldn't have to worry when you're buying tickets for your next big event. Game time is a fast, easy way to buy tickets for all your sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Anything you go to, Super Bowl tickets coming up, you got college basketball, NBA, concerts, you name it. You can buy game time. Last minute tickets, best thing. I'm actually meeting with the game time guy. I think we're going to go to Vegas. Last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals, easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. They're obsessed with finding ways to help you save money. Game time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event. And even an hour after it starts, it's the place to find last minute seats, find exclusive flash deals, sponsor deals on tickets for football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. With zone deals, you pick the uh, section and game time picks the seats for an average of 18% savings. The game time guarantee means you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section or row for less, game time will credit you 110% of the difference. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, use code BFF for 20% off your first purchase terms apply again create an account redeem code bff for twenty dollars off download game time today last minute tickets lowest prices guaranteed walter hayes debuts song about his beef with zach bryant 
I don't know who Walter Hayes is, but after Tyler Childers' song In Your Love earned him his first ever char charting signal on mainstream country radio, Zach Bryan tweeted about whoever runs the radio playing Fancy Like, which he referred to as an Applebee song over another one of Tyler Childers' song. Walker Hayes responded shouting out radio for playing a song and they was praying for Zach and Tyler's success. Zach responded to a fan saying he meant his Applebee's comment with humor, not malice. Walker responded last week with a new song he wrote about his back and forth with Zach. Well, we have, I think, the number one Zach Bryan expert on the planet. <laughs> yep. Yes, I would consider myself a ZB expert. So it's, I don't, this is all news to me. Uh, Zach just was... He tweeted, it's crazy that, like, Ty Tyler Childers just got his, like, first radio debut when he makes, like, incredible music, but then the Applebee song is always on the radio. He was just kind of saying it's a little backwards how it took Tyler Childers so long to get on the radio, but then this song that, was on the that's radio. That's how I perceived it, and then yeah, this guy but Walker he didn't mean got, it as something. Yeah, it, so this guy Walker Hayes, though, he doesn't like him? I don't know, because he then wrote a song about him in... Release no it. hard feelings, cause man, I'd be lying if I said I ain't never talked shit about a record radio. Cause I thought mine was better. It's kind of funny, you ought to feel happy for any fool making money, making songs. Cause I know most of us dying, trying to be Zach Bryan. He sounds so, kind of just like him. Sign a count of a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Or I don't, stuff. I don't know. Zach was just kind of like he meant it as an overarching, like Applebee's esque songs, not just towards Walker. Michael Sarah Sarah V conspiracy. Michael Sarah sent a bunch of skincare boxes out to influencers and convince everyone he created Sarah V. Conspiracy spread to page six. DeMoximo, TikToker Haley Beely saw him signing bottles in ph pharmacy. This is a amazing S ad campaign. I know. I opened my box and I didn't know what I was opening my box for. You so got just, it? Yeah. And it's, it's right there, yeah. Yeah, there's one here. There's another one. But I opened one the other day. You got it from Michael one. Sarah? Yeah. And it's... Excuse me. I mean, it was probably from... It was probably from Sarev. Sarev. Wait, is that they're the ones doing it? They paid him. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, dude, you think this Michael isn't like a Sarah's marketing plan? Face over everything. I thought he was doing it as a joke at first. The way I read it, I think it's like a oh, joke no. campaign. But then you open it yeah. and it's just like, yeah, it works. Yeah, smart. All Michael. Shit, yeah, it's genius. It? No. It's a great okay. idea. Very smart. Um, Sorry. Megan the Stallion and Nicki Minaj beef. August 2019, Meg and Mick, Nikki and Meg collaborated on Hot Girl Summer. August 2020, Meg releases WAP uh, with Cardi B, who Nikki was in a years-long beef with. January 21, Nikki unfollowed Meg the Stallion on Instagram, and Meg eventually returned the favor. September 22, in an interview, Nikki says somebody allegedly tried to get Nikki to drink alcohol while she was pregnant and get an abortion. People believe this moment is referenced in a TikTok live, although Meg the Stallion says this is a lie. March 2023, Nikki seemingly shades Meg on her song, Red Ruby to Sleaze. Nikki said she doesn't fuck with horses, referring to Megan the Stallion in the Stallion's name. In a Dorito wow. diss, is thought to be in reference to Meg's Super Bowl commercial with Doritos. Megan was still going. Megan released yeah. a single, Hiss. Last Friday, Megan released her single, Hiss, where she seemingly took shots at many people, including Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenny Petty, who is a registered sex offender. That ain't good. In 2022, Kenny was sentenced to a year of house arrest, three-year probation, $55,000 fine after failing to register as a sex offender in California's defying Megan law. These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes be mad at Megan's law. The father Chills, girl... Dude. Cheers. Yep, bars. The father of the girl who Megan's law is named after is using his daughter's name as disrespectful as it gets. Nicki Minaj reacts to Hiss with Bigfoot. Hours after Meg's song was released, Nicki took to social media blasting Meg for lying on her dead mother and said she fell off and should get up on her good foot, referring to the foot injury Meg suffered from Tory Lanez shooting her. Nikki has been incessantly tweeting, retweeting fans, and liking tweets related to the matter. One tweet Nikki was spotted liking was a tweet about the release of the trailer for Despicable Me 4 was an example of a calculated business move that the trailer was released by corporate giants trying to overshadow Nikki's success. Nikki then released Bigfoot, which she reiterated what she had been saying on Twitter. Are you team Nikki or are you team Meg? I don't fucking know. It's a lot. It's a fucking it's a lot, lot, guys. 
but people are really really like this is the first time i've seen the internet turn on Nicki minaj to be honest i'm on these i'm on the stallion sign because i like saying her name megan the stallion that's it the stallion Ah, yeah all has to do with the name yeah i mean it was uh it was it was a crazy diss track you know, as a as a professional diss track artist, I will as say, am I, as am I, yeah, as as are you, Dave. As are you. I know you are as well. So I'm I'm waiting for your input. Hopefully, you listen to the song soon and you know can can give your take. Um, it seemed like maybe it was a little bit of an emotionally rushed diss track. Ah. That's what it seemed like to me. It seemed like it came too quick. It came a little too like she just kind of put her tweets into a song, so people that had kind of already heard it. Now. I love Nicki Minaj, and I think, like, she is, I think, without a doubt, the best female rapper. Like, I think, it, it, 100%, she's the best female rapper. Uh, but this this was not, Cole, like, that, that the woman, Nicki Minaj. Coley. Coley LeRae? Yeah. What about her? I like her. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like her, too, Dave. <laughs> Are you saying she's the best female rapper? Yeah, my, I like her more than these two. You think... Coil the Ray's the best female rapper ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I like I listen, if I was buying a ticket for a female rapper, that's who I'd buy. Mm. Huh. Put on the stone. Huh. Best yeah. female rapper. I mean I, I I feel like if you look at like the the numbers and all that, like I think yeah, this is I, just I, in I, Dave's world. This is just it's just preference, personal. It's opinion. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is just like the music you like to listen to. Correct. Mm-hmm. Right. Speaking of rap, by the way, neither of them have the number one song on iTunes. That belongs to Ben Shapiro, which I haven't heard this song yet. So what? can I listen to ben this? Shapiro? Yeah, yeah, number yeah, yeah, one yeah, rap yeah. song. Facts. With Tom McDonald. Yep. Who's Tom McDonald? He's a rapper. The number one <laughs> proclaimed I'm not ashamed independent because I'm artist. White. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. And if you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect. What? Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Liz, my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison. I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Nikki takes some notes i just did this for fun all my people download this let's get a billboard number one this ain't rap this ain't- i made my skin crawl a little number one mm-hmm. yo the the first like three bars of that song that we listened to at least might have been the craziest like all muslims must be terrorists all That's- liberals must be right because i'm white white power that's what i heard it's crazy. I mean, I think they're making fun of it, but it it, it just shows you got you got an audience that can do anything. Yeah, number I guess one, so number one, man, can't argue with the numbers. Awesome McBroom McBroom is living in an RV. Oh <laughs> uh, boy! <laughs> Look at that third picture. I got kicked out. What the fuck is this guy doing? Can we talk about how like last week I was like, yeah, I made a video on Awesome McBroom, and then this is just taken off. I'm not gonna say you know like. I started a trend, but maybe I started with people a doing trend. that video, right? Someone, everyone, out. everyone started doing it after. Like everyone started reenacting a Snapchat. It's not that it wouldn't have caught on, anyways. I think I was just, you know, one of the first. You're just a trailblazer, so man. Whatever. Leader, um, man. Hey, that's what it is. That's what I do. You know, I stay locked in, baby. I stay locked in. Facts. Pen Shapiro. Gabby Hanna is a YMCA fitness instructor. After leaving social media, Gabby Hanna has popped back up as a fitness instructor at YMCA in her hometown. I don't know who Gabby. Oh, she was a we YouTuber. Had her on the pod. We did have her on, we the had pod. her on the pod. I don't think you liked her episode. It's one of the weirder episodes we've ever had. It was one of the weirdest episodes we've we've had in life. She oh. was with you, right, Josh? Yeah, 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 yeah. She mm-hmm. was beside me. Honestly, crazy. good for her. She seems to be just doing her thing. She's a go wire. back to normal life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Grisalda Blanco's son. Is upset Sofia Vergara wore prosthetics <laughs> to play his mom. Sofia Vergara's new limited series is based on the true story of Colombian cocaine queenpin Grisalda Blanco, who is linked to 250 murders. By the way, damn, the quote that they start the show with is so fucking intimidating. It it like goes, you know how you can it it like type so you can't see it. it's not there at once. But the quote that starts the whole thing is. The only man I was ever afraid of was a woman. 
Grisaldo, this woman, and then it's Pablo Escobar. Ah. Damn, that was his quote? Yeah. That's sick. She was fucking crazy. She was badass, huh? Yeah. Badass. Is she dead now? Yeah, she must be. Oh. But once they put that up, I'm like, fuck, I'm in this. Pablo Escobar, the only man I was ever afraid of was a a woman. Crazy. So uh, her real-life son, Michael Corleone. What a fucking name. (laughs) That's his name? Michael Corleone Blanco? That's sick. (laughs) That's a mafia name if I've ever heard one. Yeah, I'd say so. Godfather. Uh, Calls Sofia Vergara's decision to wear prosthetics, plays mother disrespectful, says that she was called a porcelain doll in her youth and that mayors, governors, and politicians tried to court his mother. So basically, Sofia uglyified herself. Uh, she doesn't does she look ugly or she just was trying to look more like the character she knows that they, they in she's portrayed as beautiful in in the, the show? show like people want to fuck her and she's like saying she she her looks were an advantage maybe they're just like yeah but sophia vergara's top 50 five oh most beautiful women <laughs> so we can't we can't have her play herself mm. Regardless, I highly recommend the show. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it tonight. It's yeah. it's addicting. It's so good. Grabs. Is it just instantly. about this woman in the cartel? Or yeah, it's 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 so it starts with her fleeing Colombia, going to Miami, and she's starring from like the. I've only watched two episodes from the ground up, building her cartel. Dang. Okay. Sick. Okay. All right. Uh, Pookie looks absolutely fire. Pookie looks absolutely fire today in her quintessential red jacket. So let me see this video. I was told this would be on, like somebody sent me like, have you talked about Pookie yet? I'm like, I don't even know what you are. They're like, trust me, it'll be on there. It's date night. Saturday night, going to Hell's, our favorite steakhouse on the planet. And I gotta say, Pookie looks absolutely fire tonight. Babe, I am fire just here the first time. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a House of CB top. It laces up the back, so that took some work. And then girlfriend denim and femme LA heels that are literally hanging on by a friend because I've worn them so much. And my Kelly. Awesome. I am wearing a Jenny <laughs> jacket, awesome. Brooks Brothers shirt, Hermes belt, Paige jeans as always, and black cherry Lou Casey's tonight. That's one of my favorite shirts. I love it. Pookie. Let's see another Pookie. I want to see. Pookie see looks fire. This is what they do. Yeah, and it's Yo, like. Yo, I heard so... she's racist, though. So. What? Wait, what? Yep. Heard a bunch of past tweets came up about her being racist. I saw it in the comment section. Damn. I didn't fact check it by going on Twitter. I'm just restating comments. Oh, also. yeah. I heard that, too. It's like, I all right, do the next Pookie, because then I heard Zach, which I knew. I forgot, but Zach, Zach and Brianna did a Pookie. So let's see the next yep. Pookie, and then let's see the spoof Pookie. Okay. Pookie What's looks up? absolutely amazing. You asleep, Austin? Or like... I didn't realize that we had the second one downloaded. Was like... Friday night, date night. Taking Pookie to a new spot tonight with three other couples, and Pookie looks absolutely amazing. Good lord, babe. I love y'all black. Thank you. I'm wearing my Kelly. I'm so excited. And then I have on girlfriend denim, revolve little lace top, revolve sweater, and J Lo heels. Uh, I'm wearing a late Christmas present from Campbell. Jacket is Gutteridge shirt. Gutteridge also at the store out of Italy. Hermes belt, Paige jeans as always, and ostrich Luke Casey's tonight. So they were doing this like seriously, like it wasn't meant to be. They do it seriously, like every day. Yeah. All right, I, I, yeah, I guess cute. Let's let's see Zach and Bree's uh, remake. Bonjour. Second day in Paris. Oh. Pookie's wearing a quintessential red jacket. Mm-hmm. I love Pookie in a red jacket. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna go get some dinner at Club Meso. I love Pookie in a red. <laughs> oh f. Time to go to dinner, Pookie. <laughs> he sounds like him. No, but that was yeah, an exact got, remake. Got, that was an exact got... remake. Oh, I she said bonjour. It's our second day in Paris. And Pookie looks absolutely quintessential in her red jacket. Okay, I didn't see that one. Mm-hmm. I, I thought you guys took too much creative liberty from no, the other we, two. We, co- we copied. What's going on? Josh is looking to find them racist, right? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I was trying to see if it was accurate or not. Is it? I don't want to put out I don't want to put out, I don't want to put out, you know, yeah, yeah. fake stuff on their name, but um 
apparently, from what I'm seeing, I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of different things. I'm seeing a lot of different. <laughs> right. I'm seeing then people we'll say it's a lie. It from the I'm record. Seeing, we'll just strike it. Strike it. I saw one comment that said her and Jet went to a sorority date party where the theme was to dress up as slave owners. Oh, that and they also bad. cosplayed the Trumps. That can't be. Yeah, I mean, cosplaying the Trumps may not be bad. Yeah, sororities used to do, like, yeah, they were getting shit from that. Slave we'll just leave it alone. Okay. Play, yeah, That's there would be like plantation parties, believe it or not. There's a lot of controversy. There was a guy on The Bachelor who got in a shit ton of trouble for that. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's fucking crazy. I don't want to put that on their name, though, so. Yeah. Uh, BFF's true. Corner. Yeah, it looks like this. No concrete, no concrete evidence. Innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. Just rumors circulating amongst fans. Just rumors, just rumors, just rumors. Uh, BFF's Corner, how was your Paris trip? It was amazing. Paris was awesome. But the Mona Lisa got souped the day after we went. I, it doesn't even make sense. Like, why would you attack the Mona Lisa to draw attention to, like... Climate change, yeah. Yeah, like, what does attacking the Mona Lisa do? I don't know. I guess it I just think it's gets just, a bunch of videos. Yeah, it's just noise, you know? And they have a protective thing. It didn't even do anything. Yeah, it's like in bulletproof glass. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, think their goal... Soup? I don't think the goal was to actually probably fuck up the Mona Lisa. I think it was just probably to get coverage of yeah. their take. Yeah. You know? uh, like you were talking earlier, Mo uh, Monty Lopez hadn't heard from him in a while. Do as Josh's uh, TikTok of making fun of Austin McBroom. Yeah, he thought it was him. He thought I was talking about him. He thought, he <laughs> thought you. That's the it most was, Monty Lopez thing. <laughs> right? Ever. Look at this. Pulled up to church. You know me. Uh, Got to get a combo win with the guy in the sky, the big man with the plan. Um, You know, uh, just focusing on my mind, my body, my spirit right now. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I love his little head shakes and reactions to it. He's like, oh, his watch got looks, me. Oh, his watch looks like it's know, bigger than really his head. G-Shock. Yeah. He's right trying to get now. that shit fucking you, you, you in the know, camera. He's little wrist candy, you know. Or in a close proximity. You know. That's fucking insane that he thought it was about him. <laughs> Very Monty video. Lopez. <laughs> Hand up. I haven't watched the Read the Room. I got to watch the Read the Room. That's my fault. I got to watch that. I gotta Did you watch, watch the first episode, Brie? Mm hmm Are you lying? <laughs> no. I called Why you. Why are you laughing like I that? I called you because of the way you said it. I said, mm-hmm. Austin, yes. text me and remind me. When I'm done with this, I forget about life. I'm going to watch it. It's only like, all... is it like 15, 30 minutes? <sighs> Perfect. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. I don't know, dude, but fuck, my bicep's kind of looking huge. Me too. Yeah, I've been working out. Why? I feel good. Why? What does that have to do with anything? What does my bicep have to do with anything? Yeah. Nothing. I just look big. Why, it jealous? Does. It yeah, stretched out. Me? No, I don't fucking care. I might have a broken. Kind of getting huge, dude. <laughs> I just, I just walk. Hot girl walk. Um, Hot girl walk. But yeah, anyway, second episode's coming out. It'll be out when this is out. Pod so. drops. Yeah. Go drop. Go watch it. All right, guys, quick commercial break. Today, we've got something truly special for all of the renters and landlords out there. So paying rent is something we all have to do. Let's be honest. It can sometimes be a bit of a hassle. But what if there was a way to make it easier, more straightforward, and even beneficial for your new financial future? So introducing RentApp, the ultimate tool for renters everywhere. RentApp takes the hassle out of paying rent by depositing your payments directly into your landlord's bank account. No more trips to the ATM, no more mailing checks, and no more managing balances in multiple apps. Just simple direct transactions that make life easier for both you and your landlord. There are no fees, no weekly limits. That's right. Rent app is completely free for you to use. No need for your landlord to create an account. It's completely free for them too. I actually just started using this because my landlord was trying to make me write checks every single month and I wasn't for it. So I downloaded the rent app. He didn't need to and it's super seamless. So why not wait? Head to the app store and download rent app today and follow rent app at rent app on Instagram and Twitter. And for our listeners, we've got an exclusive deal. Go to rent.app slash barstool to get $50 cash back on your first rent payment. And if you're a landlord, go to rent.app slash landlord to get paid on time without a hassle. Dave should have given up riders up call. So Alex Earl, I was at Pegasus horse race in Miami. Alex Earl gave the riders up call. Got a lot of horse people kind of mad um, because like, why do we have a makeup influencer who doesn't really love horse racing doing it? Uh, I should have definitely and, done it. And don't they test out makeup on horses? Do they? I don't know. <laughs> I should have like, done it. There's no doubt. What does riders up call mean? Before the, <laughs> the horses go out for the final race. You go ride, or, like you get on oh, your horse. Pretty self-explanatory. So, yeah, like the Indy 500. Hers kind of sucked to be. I like Alex, but hers was no good. More importantly, should have been you. Uh, the makeup uh, thing. The makeup I'm on like horses. one of the rare no? 
you want to call me an influencer or whatever you want to call it. I probably have the biggest following for somebody who legitimately loves like horse racing and horses. Like hey, I you have horses. a horse. I go to all these regardless. Um, so yeah, it probably should have been me, but I mean, I get it. Alex yeah. is huge. So get Alex involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should start that horse rumor thing though about the makeup. <laughs> you want to? I don't know. I think I think it would be good. Yes, tweet it. for the makeup tweet it industry. After this. I yeah, have not watched industry. Breeze Stop Netflix. testing on horses. I gotta do that. What is this? Marv's Pizza served Dave a poop pizza? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I saw this. Poop. I can't believe you ate pizza with a schmear of poo on it, dude. Is this, this is real? crazy. Let me get a schmear of poo on it. Is this real? Dave, I think someone put poo on your pizza, man. Did they really, Austin? You got another and two of poo it. on it. No, they I don't even recognize the place. You gotta you gotta do something about this, yeah, man. You can't have people be putting a poo on your pizza. Like poo. What Some, is Marv's pizza? It just uh I don't even know if they're I don't know. That's like you go to jail for that. So oh, this is just a sure. spoof? Is this person Anthony Rizzola, owner of Marv's Pizza in Brooklyn, a real person? I don't think it came from Marv's Pizza. I think someone just attributed it to a random pizzeria and but and it, went, it. it went like very viral, people being like, finally someone someone stuck it. Someone into served it. him poo. I Stuck never eat tool? poop. <laughs> dude, I think you ate poop. Dude. I think David. Can I poop. see the store? Is there a story? <laughs> like, it's what just is those it? two. It's just those two slide pictures. Oh, it's made the fuck up. Yeah. Mars Pizza isn't even a pizza place. I'm sure there's a pizza Marv's place. Yeah, that I ain't there. been there. Like, there's not. You haven't done a. Uh, you think I? You think that I went sniff that out? Please. You're doing a poo review. I don't think you would, man. I think they probably mixed it into the melted cheese or something. Oh, I don't want poo on my pizza. <laughs> Please, you <laughs> not. First of all, pizza places like me, so this is just a made-up. They do. I actually saw a lot of comments that were like, this is maybe the dumbest thing a pizza place could do if this is for real. Dave does so much for the pizza company. Yeah, so. and, and it's just totally false. And it looks like they're and saying it was during- go to jail if you do that. It looks Yo, like they're would, saying it was during COVID because I'm wearing a mask. No fucking chance. Yeah, no poo in your pizza. No. Dude, no. Uh, right to jail. Right to jail. Right to jail. Right? Poo on the you pizza. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> Uh, is Dave too rich to complain? I I did a quick thing. I no, I'm always gonna complain. It's like I'm allowed to complain. I'm a complainer. Right. Sorry, um, that's how you got rich. Yeah, complaining. Uh, Tr Trisha <laughs> yeah. Paytas reacts to Brooklyn Stay BFFs. True. Prior to the release of the last BFF episode, Trisha reacted to Brooks' comments on the BFFs talking about Matt Rife. Trisha said she was scared to talk about the situation. She didn't want to see the BFFs respond. I have okay. not seen this yet. I'm confused. We are so scared to talk about this. Actually, I don't, I don't even know what's going on, but Oscar is like, I'm scared to talk about it. It involves our good girl, Brooke. This is like a general summary because I didn't watch the actual podcast that Brooke called into. Brianna had called Brooke to join in on a conversation on the BFS podcast because Dave wanted to talk about Matt Rife. And she said that she didn't really know why Brianna was calling. And then she's like, Dave wants to talk to you. But she didn't know it was for the BFS podcast. Not, well, not when she picked up. I feel like I was sending a text like, hey, I'm doing this. Do you mind? That's wrong you know, too, isn't it? Call. Definitely. Right? I did. Text like really her first, about, like, and we did tell her she's on the pod first. Expect that Matt Rife would want to date you, like he's not that kind of guy. Basically, kind of putting like the blame almost like on her. Something along the lines of she has no, like Brooke has no ambition because Barstool is going to hire her, but she isn't ambitious enough blah, blah, for her career. Blah blah blah. blah. Oh my god! Oh. And what did Brooke say about it? She just was saying like she was disappointed that Dave was saying all this stuff because she does like love like the show and him and like looks mm. up and admires him. I don't have any beef with Dave, but I don't know anybody. I wouldn't say I like anyone admires him. <laughs> Maybe some 10 year old boys in Nantucket. That's why I was just like, I admire him. That's, that's a big, I mean, good, but wow. Yeah. Why? You know, I was kind of gagged. And again, I didn't watch the original. I'm just taking like Brooke's word for it. A lot of the comments were like, you know, Dave only sees like part of the story, not like the oh, full context always. of what Brooke was saying before yeah. he like came to the, his own conclusion. So if you're missing these elements of the story, he jumped to his own conclusion without all the details. Why did he say the unambitious part? I don't know. He's like, you're just to be, just to be mean. Just to put her down. <laughs> They're just intimidating. I don't know. I mean, that Josh kid seems nice and of course brianna like i'm i'm on the brianna chicken fry bandwagon now i love her too Stop. so it's more just dave <laughs> Like, I'm not sorry that I did not watch the BFS podcast. It's just not, I, I'm I sorry. Yes, this is, you know, a job and this is our responsibility as journalists. But there are some things I can just, it's for other journalists. It's not for me. Also, uh, like her friend, I mean, that's a setup and that's really not nice. How do you not text this her guy? before to yeah. warn but, her? Like, hey, you know, this is happening. I'm about to call you. That's maybe a they setup. are just close. No, I don't know because it doesn't seem like that. I, in my head, I, I didn't, we didn't watch it. Okay, we should probably watch this because I hate when people don't watch things or whatever. Well, yeah, we continually are getting 
I know, but they just need bombarded. to watch it. They just need to watch it and see what actually. I, I you know what I think is funny. I, I think that was that third guy that popped out of nowhere. Her husband. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Never mind. But anyways, I think it's kind of funny that they're talking about like needing to know more information before we can make a take, and then they're giving they a take on something that they didn't watch as well. You know, it's kind of the entire a fucking bit of, thing was. How you could still date somebody who is sending you Facetune dick pics, and then she's like, "I didn't know till after." I'm like, oh, never mind. That's the entire yeah. thing. The ambition I said prior, because when they were canceled, I was interested in hiring Brooke. We talked two to three times. She kept saying, "I'll send you a sample," and never did. That's what that's from. That show's killing it now. They're doing well. That's it. She told a different thing. That, and by the way. I don't even think Brooke really told it. Like, I think the internet is more so snowballing with it. Like, Brooke isn't really hounding on the fact that you were terrible to her. I think, like, people are just running with it now because they're not watching our episode. And mm. they're just saying that you were an asshole to her, but they didn't watch it. I just feel like... By the way, Trish People Paytas, keep getting... Uh, people don't admire me. Like, uh, welcome to Earth. Like, <laughs> maybe they don't admire you but i would put myself without tooting my own horn very much in an admired from real person category mm. i would say people admire you not to like you know you yeah on the much, business but, yeah. entrepreneur like all of that like yes like charity you. like yeah all that like what do you mean 10 um, year old boys from nantucket i get no respect around i'm like ronnie dangerfield <laughs> I just think I just think people need to get the phone call thing like straight. I just wish to me, wish people would watch. Yeah, yeah. Well, that me, was, was crazy. Like, they did the whole segment like Josh said. Like we should watch it. We should watch it, <laughs> and they just didn't watch it. So yeah. whatever. Yeah, I yeah, guess yeah, we yeah. do the same shit. You, it's not like you so. called her. It's not like but, you called her, put her yes. on speakerphone, and were like, was like, okay, answer this question about Matt Rife sending you a Facetune dick pic. Yeah, and, like, I just want to clear that I did text her before. I said Dave wants to talk to you. We said when we called her, we're on the pod. Do you want to join? Well, the why would Dave want to talk to her for any other reason? Which exactly. still is on the spot. And I understand maybe we should have just not fucking called her. But, but didn't she call you back? Yeah. She, no, she joined the Zoom. She joined the Zoom. So she. Knew. Yeah, that, I mean, that's crazy. And I'm clearing that so up. How people that didn't put on the spot it, if you're joining the BFF. You're joining the Zoom link. You could have. You. Uh, hey, again, there's no hate because we, we were wrong in the sense that we thought we didn't know the timeline. So that well, was on us. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. People aren't like people are saying that we put her on the spot. Brooke necessarily isn't saying that. That's just like that guy on that pod, and then right. everyone else. Right. Corner. Okay. I will okay. say it's a good Brooke. point, Bree. That a lot of times we do on this podcast talk about things and like, well, we don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. But like <laughs> then we proceed yeah. to talk about. This is true. Yeah. This yeah. That, the they they got us there. Yeah. They got us there. We didn't yeah. be talking out of our assholes. Thing. Yeah, yeah. then they did the same thing. Here. Yeah. That's what just well, maybe we should all meet up and talk about this. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. we got some Planet Bree merch that I that was a very funny video of me that was not getting hilarious. it. Hilarious, very well done. Yeah, we have Planet uh, Bree shirts if you want one. Grace made them. What, how, how long we, we have these things always like if time? No, I think. I think we're probably good. An hour is probably a solid, solid podcast. So um, that's BFF. If you want to buy the Planet Brie with my face or the other version, now's the time. Uh, that's BFFs.